Oh, fish on. Nice. What's up, guys? Again, back out on the kayak. The tide is incredibly high today. As you can see, normally it would be almost a foot lower in this area. Uh, but there's a lot of activity right now, so I can see a lot of fish feeding. I've just got two rods. Both I'm using artificials on. Brand new, guys. This is uh, a replacement for one I just lost. It's the Daiwa BG 2500 and the Daiwa Air D Coastal. Um, I've never used either of these. So I'm quite excited to see how it fishes. Oof. I like it already. Yeah. I could get used to this. Yeah, I definitely like the feel of this combination. Real nice. Not too expensive either. Both of these are, are budget friendly. We're going to switch lures. I noticed there's a quite a bit of cloud in the water. So a lure that works entirely by sight like these, although I absolutely love these. Uh, these are H&H, &H, three inch, the original Coco Minnow, I think is what it's called. The pink soft plastics, they make just killer. However, I think uh, because there's so much cloud in the water and because I'm seeing a lot of this action Actually, yeah, see like right there on the surface, I'm going to put a little top water walking bait on. Just going to shove this behind us here. This seven foot rod, one of the reasons I got a seven foot rod instead of a six and a half foot is because uh, I'm starting to just really love working top waters. And uh, it just makes it a little bit easier, have a little bit more of a whip in the rod's action. A little bit of extra length can help. And for a full description of what I'm using, guys, Daiwa BG 2500, 20 pound Power Pro braid. I prefer suffix, but they were out. And this is the uh, Daiwa Air D Coastal seven foot medium action. And my leader is just a uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. God almighty, that casts like a dream barely put any effort into that at all and just sent it flying yeah see lots of uh lots of feeding action on top of the water so i think maybe a top water is the way to go something down there in the cove ah, it's a bad cast Oh, fish on! Nice! Oh, finally! <laughs> oh, top water red. Yes, sir. Whoo! That's a pretty fish. Oh man, that was exciting. Okay, there's probably more in there. Actually, I see one right there. Ah, what a good-looking animal! Oh, I'm so glad I got that on camera. Stop! 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 Yeah. So, he's not huge, guys, but he's a, he's a fish. He's a fish. Look at him taking that top water. That's a good, good fish. Let's get him unhooked, get him back. There we go. Look at the blue on that tail. Beautiful. Get him back. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, wow. That paid off. I'm going to check that out. That looks like somebody just lost that. Boom. I mean, here's a very old cast net, but uh, this is a very new frog. Okay, so let's 
cut that. Now we got a frog lure. We got another frog lure. That is. Let's get this net out of here too. This is just a death sentence for any animal that gets caught up in it. We'll pull up what we can. It's very, very muddy. It's algae covered net. Ugh. Come on. That's well and truly stuck down there, so we'll clip that. There we go. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Just, I'm parked right there. So I'm not just, uh, I'm not just throwing it in a random spot. I'm actually putting it up by my car for when we come back. I'll just grab it and get it out of here. A really good looking spot. I generally pick up some reds here. Um, however, this is normally the first place I hit. So we spent the morning bite closer to the middle of the water feature. We might be a little too late for the for the normal run of reds that come through this, uh, this section here, but if there's anyone lingering, there is an offering. Just gotta remember everything's a little bit deeper than usual. Just had a bite. Just had a bite. I don't know if it was a, a pinfish or a croaker or what, but something just pulled on the, the line. All right, guys. Fish on. Trout, maybe? Yes. A good one. Good trout. Let's do a quick measure. Oh, he's close to the mark. I don't know if he's at the mark. Oh, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Come here, buddy. No, he's not, he's not a keeper. But uh, he's a good fish. Nice fish. Gorgeous colors on that. That's gonna, oh man. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. Let's let him go. Just, boop, there he goes. He took right behind me. I put a piece of shrimp in the water and he came up and just hit it real hard. I actually put the rod in the rod holder and was just waiting for a second and the kayak started turning because he was pulling out so hard. Good stuff. Anyway, this cove is a really good spot. It gets really deep here. You've got structure there. You've got a cove here. So this little area is just dynamite. Okay, that's a decent one. Coming towards us, coming towards us, coming towards us. Coming right towards us. Oh, it's a black drum. Uh, he fought hard. He's, uh, he's not a big fish at all, but he put up a little fight. It's nice. Real nice. Let's get the hook out of his mouth, get him back. That's a pretty fish. You can hear him. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's look, huh. <laughs> they are just so funny when they make that noise. Let's let him go. Get out of here. Well, I reckon that'll just about do it for us today, guys. Three really good fish. A red on top water, a trout on shrimp, and then a surprise black drum. As always, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell when you subscribe so when I upload a video, you get the notifications straight away. Do it right now, just hit subscribe, hit the bell, it takes two seconds. If you wanna help support the channel, make videos like this possible, 
check out the link to our Patreon page down in the description and see the list of the great stuff that you get in return. Let me know in the comments, guys, if this is the type of video you're enjoying, if you want something else. Be specific because I want to try to make it happen. More is coming, guys. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I'll see you guys later.